Welcome everyone to Caleb the Video Maker 2. This video is going to be talking about the integer data types in MySQL. Now int is short for integer. This data type is broken up into multiple data types similar to how the text data type is broken up into multiple data types. But it's a lot different than the text data type so don't use that as a reference. <laughs> but I am going to break this up into all of the parts now. Here are the other available sizes. As for comparison to the int data type, it would go right here in size, which is kind of confusing if you're thinking about the text data type because the text data type looks like this. So the text is in between tiny and medium. <laughs> There's no such thing as a small text and the biggest one is called long, not big. <laughs> so there's literally no correlation with naming when it comes to int versus text so don't associate sizes between these two so i'm going to put that int in its right location so we can see it more clearly the integer data type is a data type that is used for exact numbers what that means is that the numbers do not lose precision when you store a number and do math with it you will always get the expected result this is in contrast with other data types, which are for estimates, which we will discuss those very soon. Now, each one of these has a maximum size of a number that they can store. If you want to know the exact numbers, you can look those up. But roughly, I think this one's 255, 65535. This one's about 16 mil. And then this one is about 4 billion. And then this one is like thinking a ton. And these three are just estimates. <laughs> now, these values are for what are known as unsigned integers. And unsigned integers do not allow negative numbers. The benefit of that though is that the highest number you can store is much higher. That's in contrast to signed integers where half of the range of values goes in the negative. So imagine this, here is a number line, here is zero, and let's say the range of values that are allowed is the size of this piece of chalk. If we had a signed integer, half of it would have to go in the negative and half of it would have to go in the positive. If it's unsigned, we can put all of it in the positive and get a higher number. Now the last thing I want to mention about the integer data types is that they are used to store whole numbers. <laughs> Probably should have said that at the beginning, but you know, whatever. <laughs> so that means 10 is allowed, but 10.5 is not allowed. If you want to store a decimal, you need to use either the decimal type or float or double, which we will talk about all of these in the upcoming videos. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you. If you've liked it, be sure to click like, and as always, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.